I have been trying to get Kali Linux installed on my PC down there for God knows how long. We're going to give it a go today. So it's January 2024, 17th of January. This is the latest version of Kali Linux. Let's give it a go, shall we? So it's literally just booted to it. For some reason, it'll only boot in legacy mode, but hey ho. The last time I tried this, it failed on partitioning the disk. So let's see what happens today. United Kingdom, British English, detecting hardware. Also, what happened to the days of a live disk for this? Seems to have disappeared these days. Detecting network hardware. Yep, we want the ethernet connection, not the Wi-Fi. That'll do. We're just going to accept defaults today. Username. Yep. You might complain that it's not secure enough, but who cares? Detecting disks. Here we go. This is the part that I've always had problems with. Yep, the SK Hynix. All defaults. And watch it. See? Every time. I don't get why it's doing this. If I ignore it, it will fail. Any ideas? It doesn't make any sense. Why does it fail every single time? Genuinely don't understand why it's doing that. It makes no sense. All right, I'm gonna try one other thing. So graphical interface for install is not working. Let's try text-based, because it, it, I think I might have screwed up the USB there. So I'm just gonna rebuild that. It's just weird. There's no reason for it. This takes so long to do though. It's just, it's driving me up the wall. Why does this not work? Any thoughts? We're gonna look at Callie's website. No, uh, just I picked a real bad day not to have any coffee. I'm gonna try one other thing as well. Because at the moment that's in legacy mode. I'm gonna try putting it back into UEFI. But I suspect that won't work at all. Yeah, I know. Whose fault's that? I mean, it must be me. It must be me that's doing something wrong. Just what? <laughs> we'll come back in a minute when that USB's built, I guess. Okay. So I've rebuilt my USB stick. Took a while. Let's have a quick look at my setup in here. I'm actually gonna put CSM on, then I'm gonna allow auto. Don't care whether it's UEFI or not. So let's see what happens. I'm just gonna let it boot on its own. Let's see what mode it boots into, if it even boots, which it did. Okay, so let's try the other install. Never done it this way before. English, United Kingdom, British. There we go. So this is the, the normal install. Right there. Oh my good grief. Why is this so difficult? One more try with the graphical. I don't get why it's doing this. There is one other option I can try and that's to boot into live media. English, United Kingdom, British English. See what happens. See, it's not mounting the disc now. It's right there. Plugged in. Okay, live media installer. It's just driving me up the wall, it really is. I have to wait another 15 minutes for it to build the USB. Okay, here we go. So this is a live disc. Let's power it on. I'm just gonna let it boot on its own. It's not driving me up the wall at all. Well, here we go, that's a good start. Live system. Again, just letting it boot up. Let's see what happens. Well, that's a good start. Let's see if we can find the installer. I 
Of course, there might not even be one on here. Hmm. I don't think there is a way to do it from that, is there? All right, so let's restart and see if we can go to the installer on the live disk instead. You never know. You got five minutes, Callie, and then I'll just have to play around with the live image instead. But this is taking so long, it won't be today. See what happens this time. It's a completely different image. <laughs> See that? That's not a good start, is it? It's going to tell me that the, the media isn't there again. You watch. This is weird. All right. That's it for today. I just, I, yeah. Yes, I'm sure. And it's working. Let's quickly log in. Just so that you can see that it's working. Like I said, I will go through this in, in a separate video um, and just run through a few of the, the tools that are available on Kali Linux, Kali Purple. But this is right now. There you go, 10.15, Tuesday 23rd of January 2024. This video will go out next week, which will be the first, or thereabouts. I think what was the case was that it just didn't like overwriting a ZFS pool that was formatted on FreeBSD. So in a future video, in maybe two or three weeks, I don't know, depends when I want to do it. I'll uh, I'll just go through how I did that because it was it was actually quite simple in the end, but it's a tool it, it's a step that I wouldn't have thought would have been necessary. Anyway, yeah, get back to the video and, and try and enjoy that. So Kali Linux it is really not helping me to install it. Any ideas? Please drop them in the comments because I am so desperate to get this working. Another failure. Start the year as you mean to go on, Garrett. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.